Well, Celtic must have travelled north today, reasonably hopeful that they could put their ill-fated trip to Croatia behind them. Newly promoted Dundee are still coming to terms with life in the Premier League, without a point or even a goal before today. Commentary from Rob McLean. For Dundee, one old head in, former Aberdeen defender Brian Irvin is back, although ex hib skipper Gordon Hunter isn't quite ready. And one old head out, Tommy Coyne starts the game on the bench with Eric Garçon brought in. Another Frenchman, Stefan Punawachi, has left the club. The home team will start with a back five, Willie Miller and Lee Madison are the wing backs. Garçon joins coach Jim McAnally in the middle and Willie Faulkner is pushed up front. It's the first time Dundee skipper Vanny Smith has played against his old team. He played just 19 first-team games in four years at Celtic before moving to Dens. Celtic are without Scotland midfielder Jackie McNamara. A knee operation will keep him out for up to eight weeks. Also missing is Danish defender Mark Reaper, who has an ankle injury. In come Enrico Anoni and Simon Donnelly. Donnelly will play wide right, and in a slightly unbalanced-looking lineup, Stefan Mahe will look to push up on the left-hand side and support Reggie Blinker, trying to create chances for Larson and Jackson. Keeper Jonathan Gould was one player to escape with his reputation intact after Celtic got a going over in Zagreb on Wednesday. He's pushing hard now for the Scotland jersey. The referee for Dundee Celtic is Gary Mitchell. Dundee get the match started with the fairly sorry record this season so far of played four, lost four. Defeated by Aberdeen, Alloa in the League Cup, Dunfermline and St Johnston. But it's a bit early to push the panic button. The side newly promoted from the First Division. And much changed as well as Jockey Scott tries to find the right formula for survival in the top flight. It's Brian Irvin vying for possession with Darren Jackson. Free kick for the upraised boot and it caught Jackson apparently on the side of the head. It's Alan Stubbs over the free kick with Paul Lambert. Craig Burley is just alongside. Larson, Jackson, Donnelly, Blinker all lined up along the edge of the area. And the Stubbs effort. Well off target, pats of consolation from his teammates, but never a threat this to the goal of Robert Douglas. He felt happy with the way things were organised in front of him and flew well wide. His hair can't get much greyer, but it's been a trying start to the season for Jockey Scott. Better touch from Faulkner, first time from Madison, chased by a damn chip. Was he bundled over by Stefan Murray? No is the answer from the referee. Adamczyk trying desperately to get at the ball and no penalty. Madison, the former Bristol Rovers and the Hampton player. Brady caught in possession by Burley. That's for Henrik Larsson. Good run made. And good goalkeeping by Robert Douglas. He must have seen Larson out of the corner of his eye trying to get on the end of the Burley pass. Good vision from Burley. Nicely delivered, but good goalkeeping as well from Douglas. Boyd, the pass in behind Brian Irvin, but Douglas very quickly off his line, and it was brave goalkeeping because Stan Jackson wasn't likely to hold back there. Played for the Scotland under-21s last season, Douglas, and showing some good early form here. Donnelly struggling and he's under pressure from Madison too much pressure according to the referee free kick given against Madison here and he certainly was tugging at the shorts of Donnelly Mahi back onto the right foot there's Craig Burley good save by Robert Douglas Just when it looked as if Craig Burley was about to nod Celtic into the lead, well set up by Mahi, attempting drifting cross in, and the header well stopped. Tried to angle this away from the keeper, Burley took a touch off Grant as well. 
drifted in by Boyd. Matty Smith's header. And a free kick. A couple of yards outside the area. Celtic take it quickly. It's Burley. Touched away by Barry Smith. That was good defending. Quick thinking from Celtic as the match threatens to get a little bit out of control. And now the Dundee counter attack. Faulkner finds Grady. Brian Grant through the middle. Too much on it for Faulkner. And a chance gone for Dundee. And some stern words being handed out by Gary Mitchell. There have been a few fairly towsy exchanges. Grant, some room here for James Grady. A damn chip is tucked in behind him. Only Faulkner in the box. That's Faulkner! What a good effort! He knows what a goal chance is, Willie Faulkner. One of four summer signings from Motherwell. He favours his left foot. This one came to him on the right side. And he was very quick with his reactions and a good effort. Only just too high. Not quite with a smile on his face, Jackie Scott, but that Faulkner effort will have given him some encouragement. Stubbs against Grady, finding Faulkner. Nice ball for a damn shoot. Chance for Dundee. Cleared by Anoni. So right after that Faulkner effort, another chance presenting itself in the Celtic penalty box. Lovely cushion pass that by Faulkner. Racing onto it was a damn shoot. Took a touch, had a look, played the ball across, and there was Anoni. Celtic survive. It was Simon Donnelly on the goal line. He got that away. Celtic under incredible pressure. And now comes the counter attack. Good play from Smith. And he composed under pressure. Simon Donnelly dangerous in attack. And for Celtic today, valuable in defence when this corner kick was played in. Up went Grady, up went Faulkner, got the header, the diving header, and stopped on the line by Donnelly. Superb defending from him, and a second chance for Faulkner to put Dundee in front. Lambert to Larson. That's for Anoni. Donnelly on the touchline, Jackson further forward, he's the target, one by Smith, breaking for Simon Donnelly though, Donnelly still has it, good play, Blinker, what a chance that was for Richie Blinker, he knows, that should have been the opening goal, superbly set up here by Simon Donnelly, won it, got it to the byline, pulled it back, and how did Blinker miss that? Well, the Celtic supporters have had their worries in this first half, but they thought they had the lead there when that chance presented itself to Blinker. Adam Chu. Fouled by Mahi. Advantage being played. That's missed by Anoni. Golf the call out a fresh air shot. Kept in by Donnelly. But only handing possession back to Brian Grant. Good ball in for James Grady, played it to his feet, now a damn chip. And a good tackle by Tom Boyd. That was a serious moment for Celtic. And Tom Boyd digging into all his reserves of experience there. To close out the threat of a damn chip. It was well built up by Dundee. Good play from Lambert. In from Anoni to Donnelly. Larson. Good skill from Edric Larson. Couldn't quite find the finish. But that was delightful skill to set himself up. The touch from Donnelly. And then that little dink over the head of Barry Smith. But he couldn't keep the shot down. Test here for Barry Smith. 
came off Brian Grant. Back from Larson to Lambert. That's sliced away off Barry Smith's boot in the corner kick. That wasn't really too much of a pressure situation. He'll be disappointed, but he's conceded the corner kick there. <laughs> Stubbs and Anoni at the edge of the area for Reggie Blinker's corner kick. Robert Douglas is out. Good handling. Anoni made the challenge. But Douglas was on full concentration here and good handling as well. Lambert robbed by a down chip. Brian Grant. Adamczyk trying to get in behind Enrico Anoni. That was well timed by the Italian. And it had to be. Adamczyk showing a lot of pace here. Anoni waiting his moment before knocking it behind for the corner kick. Brian Irvin coming up at the edge of the area there for Lee Madison's corner kick. And it's Nodded behind by Alan Stubbs. He had to be decisive at the far post. Fortner is a threat to Celtic. Brian Irvin as well was coming in. Stubbs won it. So Madison having taken a corner kick on the left. And the in swinger from the right hand side. That's Willie Faulkner. Couldn't get too much on it. Credit there to Enrico Anoni for the challenge. But Willie Faulkner is disappointed here. And he didn't get a better contact. That's half time. No goals so far at Dens Park. But plenty of excitement. A highly competitive first half. Both these sides desperately need a result, and both have been doing their best. First effort came in from Craig Burley. Willie Faulkner had his chances as well. Played in by Stefan Mahi, and Craig Burley's header well held by Robert Douglas. Took a touch of Grant as well. Well played by the goalkeeper. Then Willie Faulkner's first-time effort with the right foot flew over the top of Jonathan Gould's crossbar. And from Madison's corner kick, a flying header from Faulkner cleared off the line by Simon Donnelly. At the other end, Donnelly was setting things up, and Reggie Blinker really should have scored for Celtic with that opportunity. Bags of chances, none taken so far. Half-time at Dens, Dundee nil, Celtic nil. Celtic restart, not a side high on confidence. They've lost three of their last four games, defeats at Aberdeen, Airdrie in the League Cup, and of course in Zagreb during the week. A heavy defeat in the Champions League qualifiers. Free kick given against Robbie Rayside. Bonus rows going on, bans on media interviews. And yesterday, denials of mass transfer requests. Celtic Park, not a happy place. And it's difficult to avoid the feeling that all that's happening off the field is very much affecting them on the field. Jackson's run halted. Big Burley very quickly over to get the throw in. Here's Simon Donnelly. Interception by Barry Smith. Burley again, Henrik Larsson, Brian Irvin made the challenge and kept in by Robert Douglas. <laughs> Henrik Larsson's worked that one away from Brian Irvin. Good play from Larsson. Uh, that was so well read by Jim McAnally. As the Larson cut back, looked as if it might produce something. It was determined play from Larson, clever play as well. And, and he pulled it back, and the way was McAnally. 
Mahe and Blinker combining. Willie Miller doing a good tight marking job on Reggie Blinker. Given away by Paul Lambert. So unlike him that. No pressure on him. Gave the ball straight up James Brady. Damchuk is with him. And back came Lambert to make up for his error. Normally so polished in the middle. You don't see him making too many mistakes. But James Brady was applying the pressure. Damchuk looks as if he's winding up for a long throw. Aimed at Willie Faulkner. Claiming for a handball there. Now Celtic on the counter, breaking through the midfield, Craig Burley. Jackson. Away from Rayside, pulled back for Burley. Barney Smith got there first. That was started by Burley, and he was looking to finish it as well. But he couldn't get there ahead of the Dundee captain. Even Fergus McCann looking a little bit alarmed at what's going on in front of him at the moment. And the Celtic directors alongside him. McAnally finding Grady. Holding the ball up well, now looking for support. Finds it from Brian Grant. Grant seemed to have taken too long. He was eventually bundled over by Donnelly. So it's a free kick for this challenge. Free kick taken in the direction of James Grady. In a very tight situation. Tom Boyd not letting him free. Will he Faulkner? And a half yard. That was a chance on the turn for Willie Faulkner. Good play here from Brady. Oh, he thought he'd got it away, but it was forced back in by Grant. And look at that turn from Faulkner. Disappointed not to put that on target. In from Mahi. Craig Burley. Larson. Darren Jackson. It just won't come down for him. That looked to be a chance for Jackson. But he couldn't get the shot on goal. Frustrating moments, these, for Joseph Venglos. The side definitely not firing on all cylinders. Lambert. And again. a foul by Smith a bit impatient here to get at the ball and he just went right through Lambert Alan Stumps behind his free kick well struck and Darius Adamczyk knows all about that back in from Lambert Irvin's header Barley to Anoni Adamczyk is still down Nice to put in! And firstly off the crossbar from Larson and over the top from Burley. You get the feeling it's not Celtic's day. Played in by Anoni. Henry Larson got on the end of it. Beat Douglas, but not the crossbar. And Craig Burley couldn't put away the rebound. Celtic will now change their striking combination. Arnold Brattback is on. And Simon Donnelly is off. Blinker's flick finds his way through to Hendrik Larsson. Still has it, despite Brian Irvin's best efforts. Lambert to Anoni. Leaves it to Darren Jackson. Good run from Jackson. Brat back. And McAnally being a bit over elaborate at the edge of the area. Burley shot! Craig Burley for Celtic! 24 minutes of the second half gone. It's a blunder by Dundee coach Jim McAnally. 
And Craig Burley gives Celtic something to smile about. Tried to put his foot on it, McAnally. And the shot was screwed perfectly away from Robert Douglas. And it went in off the uprights. Craig Burley firstly turning away from McAnally, finding the space, and then hooked it where the keeper couldn't get to it. So midway through the second half, it's been problematic for Celtic, but now they're one up. And on his long throw, looking for Stubbs, won by Irvin. Good Burley. Pace and power. And a good effort to hand over the crossbar by Robert Douglas. He drifts in and out of the game, Craig Burley. And when he drifts in, it can be to some effect. Real pace and power from Craig Burley as he set his sights on the area. A great change of direction here as well. And a great strike, touched over by Douglas. And as Dundee searched for an equaliser, it's Eddie Annand coming on. Annand who scored 14 goals in their promotion drive last season. Burley, Jackson, Lambert exchanging passes in the midfield. Burley again. Getting outside Ray, now back inside, and outside again. Ray stuck to the job well there. As Craig Burley tested him out. The Anoni throw, Arson's flip. A real chance for Harold Ratbach to make the point safe. It was one of these instinctive ones. Larson did so well to get it his way, and that's the sort of chance that you're looking for a top-class striker to take on the six-yard line. The far post, it's a damn chook. Good defensive play by Blinker. And Willie Miller's effort from long range, drifting too high. It was well struck, though. It's well worth the effort. As the ball broke back to him, right at the edge of the area, struck on the volley and couldn't quite keep it down. Faulkner beaten by Stubbs. That was Brian Irvin. And Stubbs again. Free kick given against Craig Burley for his challenge and Jim McAnally. And it doesn't look as if he's going to be able to continue. Inside the last minute, and Dundee temporarily down to 10 men with McAnally off. Faulkner's header. Brave play from Brian Irvin inside the area. A high boot from Stephen Mahe. Dundee fans thought they were onto something there. And the free kick goes against Brian Irvin for a low header when that clearly looked like a high boot from Mahe. Well, sometimes the referee deserves the benefit of the doubt. Stephen Mahe was in a dangerous position there and that's quite incredible that the decision goes in favour of the Celtic defender. The Dundee supporters absolutely furious about Gary Mitchell's decision there. Downfield again from Douglas, Brian Irvin has stayed up, here's a chance for Eddie Adam. that's a penalty surely, Adam tripped by Anoni and a minute into stoppage time Dundee have a penalty kick. Not much doubt about this one. The presence of Brian Irvin was so crucial. Celtic were looking for offside. And Anuri clearly tripped Adams as Tom Boyd came across.
first to cover. He may not have had to make that tackle with Don Boyd doing the covering job in behind. And it's handed Dundee the chance to make it 1 1. Eddie Allen for Dundee. That's 1 1. And right at the end, Dundee rescue a point. The Dundee supporters have something to shout about at last. 14 goals last season for Anand as Dundee were promoted and on as a substitute here he fires in the equaliser from the penalty spot right into the top corner no chance for gold and you can see the disappointment on the Celtic bench Joseph Bengal shaking his head they thought they'd tied up the points Points have been snatched away from them right at the end because that's full time. And what a dramatic conclusion to this match. Eddie Annan striking for Dundee in stoppage time from the penalty spot after he'd been tripped by Enrico Anoni in the box. What a glorious substitution that for Jockey Scott after Craig Burley had given Celtic the lead. Celtic pretty much unconvincing for a lot of the match but when Craig Burley struck they thought that that would be enough to give them three points they badly wanted but Dundee had other ideas and an equaliser right at the end was no more than their spirited and skillful performance deserved the Celtic fans trudging homeward disconsolate and the Dundee fans are in good voice Final score at Dens Park, Dundee 1, Celtic 1.